All right, on today's episode of Python Poppy, we're back inside our TensorFlow course, and we're still doing our linear regression models. Let's have a look at what we went over today. Now, yesterday, if you recall, we left off with our graph that we created. Our y equals mx plus c. We're going to pick up from there. Now, today, uh, before we get there, this is before we see how to get optimal values for m and c. We are going to create this model using TensorFlow. The good news is that TensorFlow makes it very easy for us to create deep learning models. Here we will define our model. This is how we define our model here for TensorFlow. Normalize or normalizer equals normalization. Model equals tf.caress.sequential. And then we put our inputs for sequential. And then we have our model.summary. And then we print that. And this should be our output here. And this is actually our first model that we actually created inside of TensorFlow. Now, note that this model was ran from our data preparation file. That's this file here, because that's what our CVS was and all our data was. So I actually just ran it here, and I imported the output over to this file here, since this is where we're breaking it down. But yeah, we didn't actually run it on this file, because there's no data here yet. So yeah, we ran it in our data preparation file and transported it over. And that's what we did all morning. We just went over different ways of running that. And we actually have a different method here that we can actually run. We can use this method here also to run our model yeah. and that's what we did and we got back the same exact output as you can see it's the same sequential model so we can run either or but we're just going to stick with the sequential model since that's what we done first now the way we build models when layers all form a sequence that is if we're building deep learning models where they are constructed and such that we have the input we have the model and we have the output and then all the layers which make up this model simply stacked up one layer after another. Here's an example of that. So as you can see, we have our input. We have our three layers, layer one, layer two, layer in, and then we have an output. So let's suppose we have this type of model made of different layers, layer one, layer two, all the way up until layer in. We just simply stack up the layers in this way. Now that's what we did so far. We're going to keep moving forward and I'll keep you posted every step of the way. So yeah, this is the Python Poppy, and you guys stay Gucci.